Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Smith, your art teacher. Today we are learning about molas. What is a mola? A mola is a handmade cloth that is part of the traditional clothing of the Kuna people of Panama. Panama is located in Central America. We are learning about molas in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month which is from September 15th to October 15th every year. Each year, Americans observe Hispanic Heritage Month by celebrating the histories, cultures, and contributions of American citizens whose ancestors come from Spain, Mexico, the Caribbean, Central and South America. These countries are Spanish-speaking countries. Remember the elements of art, line, color, shape, form, value, texture, and space? Well, which elements of art do you think are most important when you look at a mola? And which ones are not so important? I will give you a hint. Line is pretty important here. I see lines everywhere. I outlines inside the fish, and there's lines surrounding the fish. Uh, color, color is very important. Very colorful. I think molas would look very boring if they weren't colorful. Shape. Shape's very important. Most molas are filled with these really interesting shapes. Some are simple and geometric, and some are organic. Form are not, is not very important here. We don't see any three-dimensional qualities here, like we don't see any cubes or cylinders or spheres. Cloth. Textile fabric. Molas are made of cloth. Cloth is everywhere. It is our clothes, our towels, our sheets, our rugs and curtains. It is our flags and many other everyday items. People like to decorate their textiles to brighten their world. So we, an example of a textile is our clothing. And a mola is a article of clothing that the people of Panama wear. Here's a young lady from Panama. Looks like she's wearing a mola, and she's at a market selling molas. This young man is a, uh, he is wearing a dashiki that's made from kente cloth, which is from Ghana. And then we have a young lady here wearing a kimono from Japan, and a young man here wearing a suit, which is uh, European. The next thing we're going to do is look at a video that I made of myself creating a mola, so I'm going to adjust, I need to make some adjustments here. Let, give me a moment. What is happening? What is happening? For some reason, it is giving me a hard time. Okay, so bear with me, boys and girls, as I adjust my screen so we can watch the video. Well, this is the best I can do. Sorry, but we're going to go ahead and continue. Here's the video. It might be cut off a little bit. Make a mola for Hispanic Heritage Month, September 15th to October 15th. Try a big oval in the middle of your paper, like this. Next, decide which end will be the tail. Draw a triangle at the tail end, like this. And boys and girls, let me remind you that at the end of the video is um, I'm going to show you with my hands. I'm going to show you how to make a mola. So wait till the end before you begin, please. Third, add an eye or eyes and a mouth like this. Now, draw three big shapes inside the fish body, and then a shape inside the tail, like this. Don't draw too many shapes, or it might look a little messy.
add stitch marks around the body and the shapes like this because the um, the stitch marks represent the yarn and the thread and needle that sews the shapes onto the mola. The colorful fabric gets sewn together. So we're going to pretend that our our paper and pencil and crayons are a needle and thread and fabric as we create our art today. Then decorate around your fish with more shapes and stitch marks. Then add color. The last thing I want you to do is post your MOLA to your virtual sketchbook in Seesaw. Now watch the rest of the video and you can see me creating a MOLA. Remember to go back, remember to go back to this video to see how to do it if you forget anything. Just rewind the video for the steps and remember to post your art to your virtual sketchbook in Seesaw. Remember to draw big and fill up your whole paper. I can't wait to see your artwork. Be creative and have a good day. Bye-bye.